Good Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's science update. Uh, just want to remind you that this week before winter break, make sure your kids are up so they can do our 845 Zooms and that they come back to the 130 Zoom. So it's eight Zoom classes altogether. Wednesday, we don't have an 845 or a 130 Zoom. Kids are just working and making appointments to Google Meet with me or dropping into Ms. Berg's or Mr. Brennan's office hours. Uh, really helpful for parents. I made sure I updated the behavior eggs on uh, Friday. So if you click on your child right here, you can see how they're doing. Uh, I sent each child a message on Classcraft, but you got your own to see how well they are keeping up. You do want to see these uh, green ones instead of the reds, because the reds mean they're not keeping up with their work, or they didn't do any work last week, or they're missing our Zooms. If you read the updates that I send as a link, so I've got the link to this video, which you're hopefully watching right now, and a link here to my homework blog. This tells you the assignment kids are working on and do that week. And I put a link here for last week so you can see what kids were working on. Um, here's what it looks like for kids. When they see a green dot here on messaging, they click on that. This means there's a class announcement with a video they need to watch. There's the video right there. And here's where they click on the link to the day's attendance. It really helps me so I don't mark any kid absent who is actually doing science work. And then if they see a green dot here where it says sixth grade, this is a message from me just to your child. Uh, so I was updating this test account on what assignments that kid still needs to do. Now, when your child is working on assignments, they work off of these class craft quests and on the environmental stewardship which is the main one most kids last week should have done their one parameter from here i put them all there because each kid is responsible for one and in every cohort the whole cohort together will do all six and their job is to create a lesson this week to teach each other uh if they do their graph your data, they'll have two graphs and then go to teach it is where they have all the instructions on what they need to do to make a, a lesson to help each other learn all six parameters. I'm also seeing a lot of questions with the watershed one. In order for kids to get credit for this one, there are questions they have to answer right here and they need to submit a photo of their actual watershed uh, model just like this. So if you have any questions, message me here on Blooms, or your child can go to the message center right here on Classcraft. That's how I help most kids. And if they need more help, they usually schedule a meet with me. So we got you covered. We got your kids covered. One week to go. Make sure your kids are still working so they don't go into winter break with missing assignments over their head to think about. We don't want them to have to think about anything like that. Just take a break have a breather and come back in January, January 4th. Look forward to seeing everybody at our 845 Zoom. Uh, so yes, have a great, happy holidays, wonderful winter break, and I'll see you all this week.